Welcome back. The X-Carve is alive. The Wood Shop is sponsored by Chef Work Kits, Easy Wood Tools, and viewers like you. First of all, I want to thank everybody in Inventables. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. And a special thanks to John. I was having some problems getting the software on my computer, and he walked me through that. So thank you, John. I really don't have a specific project I did. I just maybe wanted to give you a few ideas on how to incorporate it in with turning. So I was doing some pocket mirrors, and I put a little four-leaf clover on it. And I just went on to Google and downloaded some images. The files that have to go into the program are an SVG file. And I'm not familiar with working with a program like Illustrator, so I'll, I'll play around with that a little bit more and do some more detailed stuff. But I'm used to Photoshop and JPEG and things. So, but yeah, just little things like that. I really wanted to do some gear shifts. So I just did a test one, a large one here. And you could fill that in with epoxy or contrasting wood or something. And you can size these any, any way you want. I, you can see here on the on the paint chips too, uh, like something like that. So when you're doing something like this, it's it's not like putting a square piece of wood in there and, and just write, writing a, a, your name or something. It's I had to do a test piece on a board and then put some reference lines on to line that up to try and try and find center. So like on the uh, paint chips too, I did the same thing. I just carved out a, a heart, just went in like sixteenth of an inch, and then put double-sided tape down and stuck it right down on that to line it up. So I was, I really want to do the uh, the Tie Fighter. So I think I'll probably get maybe four wings out of it, out of a piece on there, and you could do a little bit of the detail and why that's working. I could turn the body of it too. So I really want to. I think you have to you have to do it in two separate separate images though to have the depth go down. You can't uh, you can't have it go around and then change the depth on it. You have to do it in two images, but. Heard another little thing. I was uh, I just hand drew this in the uh, easel, but if you can make a, a nice nice line or a nice design or something like that in the other program. So I was thinking something like a pepper mill. You can go down a half an inch with it. So you can go down, fill it with epoxy or contrasting wood or something, and. That way, when you turned it, it would still be there. You could even do something like a flower on all four sides or something like that. So that's, I was gonna play around with that a little bit. The machine I got, I got the 500 uh, because of the stuff I wanted to do was just kind of inlay stuff. So the paint chips, I wanted to inlay those in the tops of boxes and things. And, but if you're gonna be doing large stuff, if you wanna make signs and stuff, I would go with the 1000, it's it's much bigger. The uh, 500 I, only does 12 inches, so if you're gonna make signs and stuff, I would go with the bigger one. As far as the machine goes, uh, it probably took me, I don't know, a day to put it together, but I was in and out, so it was over the course of a week. And everything was there, it worked, worked great, and f after I got the software <laughs> fired up, it. Uh, started carving right away so again guys thank you so much i really appreciate it um and i will start doing some more stuff and what i really wanted to do was do some carving in the lids of of boxes so on the on the top of like a a box like this maybe do some initials or or a flower or something and but getting that thing lined up maybe there's a way to do it so i'll i'll play around with that but yeah i want to carve out carve out some stuff in that tops of boxes and things. All right. Again, thank you guys. Take care.